All right, um, I'm going to install the headliner tack strips. Um, so there's uh, the front at the windshield uh, and at the back at the back window. Um, so the back window has three pieces. You've got one long one, two corners, and then you've got these clips that get pushed in to the back. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, there's 12 of those. And then for the front, um, you've got these screws. All right, uh, and then um, and then the two panels. And so for the front, all right, uh, one goes here for the front, one here, stops, and then one starts, and then it continues. And then for the back, mm, along here, wraps the corner, and then goes down down the way. So the long one, one piece corner and then corner so i'll show you how to get those in all right for the front panels um so the left one arches up and then um the uh the notches that uh the headliner gets are pointing up and then you know, we've got our screws got one two three four okay put it up like that we're gonna just get our screws in. All right, there we go. So you should be able to get your fingers in there just enough so that the headliner can go in there and catch on those hooks as you go around. So this is the edge you'd use to glue and tack your headliner to. All right, so next one up. All right, there we go. Just a hand screwdriver is just fine. Nice and snug, you don't need them super tight. You don't need to drill. Um, and then again, yeah, just make sure that, that these aren't bent. You can get your kind of at least finger in there just a little bit. And that's it. And then uh, get the back. All right, for the uh, the back, so we've got the curved ones. Um, so again, um, the, the actual little pins here, you get pushed in, go um, out, outwards. Okay, so fits like that. And then we've got our pins. And again, these are not screws. Little pins here, and they get pushed in. So they don't need much effort. So I just I didn't put I just pushed in just slightly and should hold it on. I haven't hammered it down all the way. And then I'll I'll do the, the rest on here to get it this in. And it's still loose, I haven't pushed it down yet, locked it in. And then I'm going to continue with the rest. And so here's the, the longer one. And it was like that. So they don't overlap. So if you're thinking that it overlaps, if you get aftermarket ones, um, they don't overlap. So they should have a little bit of a gap like that. All right. So I will continue putting these in. Again, I haven't hammered these down yet. All right. So, they're all just kind of pushed in for now. Uh, all, right. all right. So I'm gonna hammer these couples in and do the rest. So 
and now you get some movement, make sure it's in the right spot. Okay, I'm having a hard time hammering them down, so I'm hammering and that's as far as I can get. So it just it just uh, it just bounces back on me. So see how how tight that is. Now if I need to go more, now it's pretty tight. So I just basically got a flathead chisel or something to use. So like this will work. Put it on it. See, yeah, it's so dark over here. Sorry. Okay, on that, and then hammer it that way. All right, here we go. Suckers in there. And that's it guys, so that is the uh, the rear and the front.